A 44-year-old entrepreneur summited Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania last Friday after a six-day journey. Disejo Mkliane says he was only wearing his purple speedo. He joins a group of climbing the fourth most uh, topographically prominent peak on earth to raise awareness about cancer, specifically prostate and testicular cancer. The Below the Belt adventurer, Kliani, joins us now to tell us a bit more about his experience and ideas. He said, a pleasure to have you on the program this evening. Now, uh, some of the people who I've interviewed before who've um, summited Mount Kilimanjaro will tell you just how difficult it is as you're exposed to the elements as well, uh, having to go, what, 5,800 meters till you get to the summit. But you not only embarked on that journey, you did so in a speedo. Why were you motivated to do this? Um, uh, good evening. Uh, the motivation, it's, it's, uh, it's, it was for awareness about mm. uh, post rate cancer and testicular cancer uh, amongst us uh, men. Yeah. And, and um, someone had to do it. Uh, it couldn't have not been a better opportunity than to do it at, uh, at Kilimanjaro. So the, the purple speedo has evolved to uh, symbolize a more important cause. I mean, as seen through the uh, whole our daredevil run as well. Uh, why do you think campaigns like this one are so important? And why you felt it important to also initiate your own? Um, it, uh, campaigns like that are, are, are very important uh, for men to be checked and for such diseases, the post rate and testicular yeah. cancer, to be detected early because once you detect it early, it's easy to manage it. Most often, people find out um, very late where absolutely no help can be done to, to assist them. And that's the message that um, I wanted to, to put across and, and, and to, to, to make people aware that uh, the earlier you detect it, uh, the better you can manage it. So the six-day uh, journey sounds like one that was very daunting. Uh, take us through the experience. What was it like? It was very difficult, especially yeah. having to adjust to different uh, 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 levels, mm -hmm. um, you know, acclimatization and yeah. all those things. So we, we, we started on day one with um, uh, Machame Camp, which was about 3,000 meters uh, above sea level. Yeah. Then the next day we upgraded to about 4,000, but then we had to go at 5,000 and come back to 4,000 to acclimatize to altitude. But um, the difficult part was on the summit night where the weathers are extremely cold yeah, yeah. and you can, only climb, you can only summit at night because during the day it's either very hot and mm. it's windy, it's difficult to go up the mountain. So we had to wake up at about 11 p.m. to go up the mountain so that we can reach Uhuru. And it was very, very cold, very dark, quite a number of people who were, who were climbing and extremely difficult as it was just uphill. You know? and, and you're a man from Hamaj and Limpopo, which yeah. is extremely hot, and here you are exposed to the elements up there. Uh, but more importantly, uh, l let's actually use that uh, reference of uh, coming from uh, a rural town like that. Uh, many would say uh, men don't know much about uh, or don't, don't see the need to even find out about their own health or going for the necessary checks, especially in, uh, call it, uh, uh, rural communities as well. Uh, speak to us about the significance of also highlighting this to people in some of those communities. Yeah, yeah. Um, f from our communities, especially from the poor communities, we, we, we grew up, um, you know, secretively not talking about mm. main issues. Yeah. Even today, it's still the same thing. Men don't talk about their, their, their manhood and their issues. When they see they've got a problem, they'll rather go around the corner and, mm -hmm. and, and figure out something for themselves, which sometimes it doesn't work. And going to get tested and checked, that's the only way that it can be, it can be resolved. Quite often, this would also bring problems in the, in the, in the home where a man is always stressed and mm -hmm. can't even explain to, to the wife what is going on. And because they also don't know what is going on in, in, in their life. And campaigns like this are, are, are very important in educating our people mm -hmm. to say, let's get tested. And it's, it's quite reasonable to, to get tested. It's not yeah. like it's an expensive exercise, but people just don't know where and how and when to do it. And how would you say your message has landed? Because a lot will be said about you climbing Mount Kilimanjaro in a, in, in a purple speedo. Uh, but there's a bigger cause here. Yeah. 
I, I hope it lands, it lands in, 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 in a good way where people will receive and be aware of the message. Climbing with a purple speedo, it's, 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 it's a taboo. People will look at you <laughs> and frown upon you and say, are, are you mad? Are you yeah, crazy? Yeah. But that's what, exactly what you want. You want people to be, to be inquisitive. You want people to ask you, why are you doing it? And that's why we're here and explaining to people why we, we, we did what we did. Because it surely sounds better to me than just sitting on your couch and putting up a post uh, regarding some of these uh, campaigns. I mean, already uh, an idea like yours catches one's attention. Definitely, yeah. definitely. I mean, no social media, amount of social media can, can, can put an awareness such as this. And, you know, when the opportunity came to climb Kilimanjaro, I thought that this will be the perfect uh, moment for, for myself and for us to, to put the message across. I mean, as you know, dead devils, they, they've been running across, across the country in different cities. Mm. Um, impactful message. Uh, but if, if, if this uh, uh, climb can help with that messaging as well, yeah. that's, that's great. Now, you've done the dead devil run uh, t on two occasions, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, yes, we, we've done it on two occasions. Why do you believe it, it's very important to even support initiatives like this or keep them alive for, a, for a lack of a better term? I, I, I think um, especially uh, the, younger, the younger generation as well, they, they, they take lifestyles for granted. Mm. They don't look after themselves, they don't exercise yeah. healthy habits. And, and such races, when people see it, when they are not running and they see you in a purple speedo, they become inquisitive mm. and it, it sparks interest. I mean, last year alone, uh, the Dead Devils managed to raise about 700,000, yeah. which has been donated to Cancer Association of South Africa and, and uh, post Red Cancer uh, mm. Foundation to put in more awareness, to put in more campaigns so that people are aware of, of, of the issues affecting them, especially on post -trade. Before we let you go, uh, what else do you have planned, uh, especially in your work as an activist as well? Um, I've got two oceans coming up. I've got comrades coming up. Well, those are some of the, the activities I've been backing on, and probably we might go crazy again and probably <laughs> run comrades marathon <laughs> in a speedo, but we'll see about that. Well, Godspeed to you and whatever it is that you'll be getting up to next. That was Adventure at Tisecho Kliani speaking to us about a very important uh, campaign to raise awareness not only about uh, cancer but also specifically uh, testicular cancer as well.